Yeah. So have you got any practical tips on where to start writing an article? Know your subject. You, you know what I'm going to say next, don't you? Know your reader. You're well on your way. If you know your subjects and you know your reader, sit down, hammer away. Don't worry about anything. Just hammer away. Don't worry if you're using cliches or jargon or misspelling or anything else. Just hammer away. Get your thoughts out there. You can always sort it out later on. Once you've done it, once you've exhausted yourself and you've written as much as you can write, now read through it. You will see gaps, you will see repetitions, you will see omissions, you'll see all sorts of stuff. So just make marks all the way through, wherever you need to do something. Don't do it, because if you do it at that moment, you'll, you'll kind of get in a muddle. Just make marks, say, more needed here, move this, chop this out, that kind of thing. Just go through it. Once you've gone through it, then actually deal with it. So you, you fill in the gaps and um, you move stuff. If you've got something, you're looking for flow. If you, if you can get the article to flow from start to end without anything getting in the way, what you might find is now and again, there is something that gets in the way, but it's actually important. So think about doing it as a box out. Think about maybe just having a little panel on the page that explains that particular bit. And then that way you don't interrupt the flow, but you do, you do keep the important stuff in there. Then you, f you finish it. Um, by topping and tailing it. So you write an introduction, you write a conclusion, you can write a headline if you like, but chances are nobody will pin, print it. Well, unless you're in control. If you're, if you're in control, you can print whatever headlines you like. Um, so that, that's, how I would, that's how I'd approach it. There, there is a later stage, um, which is called sort of proofing, which we talk about separately, I think. 